You might have had a chance to get to Target in Quincy today. Yes, it's already open ahead of schedule, and WGEM's Claire Edlin tells us how the opening is going. Well, Daniel and Mackenzie, Target employees are locking up for the night after their first test run with the public today. It's been a slow burn watching the old Kmart transform into a Target. Many residents have been chomping at the bit for the big box's grand opening on Sunday. Hope they have a Starbucks. <laughs> oh, you couldn't pay me to go there on opening day, but I know my wife and kid probably will. So it came as a shock to many that Target unexpectedly opened its doors to the public today. Uh, I think it's just a great time right now for them to meet the guests and interact and see uh, who will be taken care of as they come through in the store. The store's director, Heather Reisenhoover, says it's a soft opening. We will continue to stay open through grand opening um, and do this soft opening through the rest of the week. Reisenhoover says they hired a full staff of 150 employees. We are excited to have um, this big of a team. Everybody is mostly external, so that's very exciting. We didn't have a lot of people move to Quincy. That that were already Target internals. We're very proud of the team here because they are Quincy um, community members and they built this Target for the community. Ryzen Hoover, who was working at Walmart out of state, gets to move back to her roots. She says Target reached out to her to recruit her. It means a lot for me to come home and be that person that got to open our first store in the community. Behind Target is Boyer's Boots, where owner Greg Boyer's is hopeful a close-by big box retailer will bring more foot traffic to his store. Yeah, I expect a lot of new traffic to come by our store. I expect a lot of see a new customers for our own here, too, and... Uh, no tr target's going to be a big thing for Quincy. A few steps up from Boyers is Outdoor Power, where owner Eric Booth also expects to see more clients. Just from you're going to see the out-of-town people, where maybe the wife is over at Target for too long and the husband ends up over here, or they both decide to stop here. City officials say they expect the store to generate millions of tax dollars. That revenue at first is going to be split 50-50. The city will get half the revenue, and the developer will get half of that revenue. Once both sides have hit $1 million, that portion ends. Jason Parrott with Planning and Development says eventually all of Target's sales tax will go to the city directly until they hit $50 million. The revenue beyond that goes to the developer. In Quincy, Claire Edlin, WGEM News. And thank you, Claire. And Target's hours are from 8 a.m. until 10 p.m., seven days a week. And the new store also features a CVS, Starbucks, and Ulta Beauty.